Eyes on the horizon. Better. There you go. Hey guys, Coach Trina here. Today we're going to talk about two movements that will help supplement your training with uh, the snatch. So first movement we're going to go over is the tall snatch. The second one we're going to go over is a snatch balance. So two really great movements to help with developing speed under a bar, um, your timing, your stability, and working on your overhead position in the snatch. Two things that we were going to see if that's different between these two movements as far as weight on the barbell. A tall snatch is going to be something that is going to be relatively light. And then a snatch balance is going to be something where we can put some weight on the bar and it might end up being heavier than your actual snatch when you get to that level of training that movement. So talking about the tall snatch, the first one that we're going to go over, um, we're going to talk about the execution. So we have Jake here. He's going to show you guys what a tall snatch looks like. But first, he's going to start by finding his snatch grip on the barbell, so nice and wide. Um, again, if he is to stand up, that bar is going to sit right into his hip crease. So this movement begins with a snatch grip deadlift. So you'll pick up the bar from the ground. And then from here, what he's going to do, uh, a progression for the tall snatches, start by lifting his heels and coming onto his toes. He's going to start a shrug and a high pull. And then once the elbows are going to start to move, and then once he starts that movement of his upper body, it's going to be his cue to drop under the bar into an overhead squat. So Jake, show us one of those, a tall snatch. Awesome. From here, he's going to stand up, and that's going to finish his rep. Now, as you get more comfortable with this movement, you'd like to see it start right at the feet um, from that standing position and taking out the part where you're coming onto your toes and lifting because that's going to reduce the amount of speed or time that you get to be faster under the bar. So as you get more comfortable, it's going to look something like this. So Jake's going to start with his feet flat and then yeah, that was pretty good. Jake, I want you to do another one, but stay a little bit taller in your starting position. So that was kind of like a high hang snatch, which is good, still gonna help develop some things, but we're, gonna, we're looking for the last bit where you're in your triple extension. Yeah, that's better. Awesome. So that's the tall snatch. Again, it's gonna be something that helps getting you faster to get under the bar, receive in a lower bottom position, um, and again, something that you'll see with lighter weights. All right, guys, so second movement we're going to talk about to help with your training um, on the snatch is going to be a snatch balance. So um, what this movement looks like, um, if you watch Jake, he's going to start with this bar on his back like he would if he was to a back squat. He's going to walk the bar out a few steps, and then he's going to establish his snatch grip, so nice and wide here. And then what this movement is going to teach you is your timing and your coordination to get under a bar, um, especially when it's loaded and it's very heavy. Uh, work a little bit on some overhead stability with this one too. So what he's going to do, um, I like to see the elbows pinned under for this movement. That's going to help engage the lat, externally rotate the shoulders so that when we get into our overhead position, our overhead position with our shoulders is good. Um, reduce the risk of injury as well. So he's going to pin the elbows under. He's going to dip into a quarter squat. And then as he's coming out of that quarter squat, he's going to drive the bar up and drop under the bar as fast as possible um, into a full squat. So it's going to look like this. Awesome. Now, Jake, receive that bar a little bit in a Power, a parallel position, kind of like a power position, finish the rep by going all the way down. Eventually, I'd like to see that movement go all the way into your full squat, taking that slight little pause out so you're just getting right to it. If it's a little bit heavier, you might see where your control becomes a little bit slower as you go down because it is so heavy, but this is still going to create some midline stability in that overhead position, teach your time and your coordination of getting under a bar for a snatch. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope these two movements are super helpful and you're able to add them into your training. If you would like some help on these movements, feel free to check out our website, schedule an intro, come in and chat with us. Um, if not, just, sub sub just subscribe to our channel and uh, we will keep putting content out for you guys to like and share.